getting late. I hate that you have to leave. <laughs> Trust me, I hate it more. So why don't you spend the night? You have a change of clothes and everything you need to go to work tomorrow morning. You know I can't, babe. At least not tonight. Yeah, you can't tonight. You couldn't last week. You won't be able to next week. Hey, come on. Don't be like that. You know, it's late and... Don't be like what, Jer? I'm getting fed up. It's been over a year that I'm putting up with this. It makes no sense that I can't have my man stay overnight or have you come with me and my friends or do anything in public. Look, this will be over soon, okay? I promise. I promise the long, hard part of the road is over and then it'll just be us two. And I just hope that you'll be this loving of me when you have me all to yourself. Not get bored of me. You're crazy. <laughs> That'll never happen. Lady, lady, look at me. Look at me. Hi. Hi. Are you okay? Are you okay? What you happened? You were in an accident. They sped off. I wasn't able to get their license plate number. I'm sorry. Here, let me, let me help you out. Wait, are you, are you crazy? What do you mean? I mean, I mean, have you completely lost your mind? This, this can't happen. What don't you understand? You've been feeding me lies for two years about leaving her and having a life with me. Now that we have a sign that we should move uh, on together, you react like this? A sign? A sign? Like what sign? Are you insane? Look, this was a mistake. Okay, this is something that should have never happened. Well, yeah. I am crazy. Crazy for living this dream, this lie that you've been feeding me for two years! Whatever. I can't deal with you right now. You need to calm down. No, Jerry. Leave the keys and get out. I'm done for good. Now! Do you have a phone? I can call for help for you. Yeah. Yeah, hi, I'd like to report a hit and run. No, no, it's not for me, it's uh, for a woman I'm with. Yep, we're on the corner of Miles and, um, and Litchfield. A couple bruises on her forehead, um, but otherwise she's okay, just a little dazed. Yeah, we're waiting by her car. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. They're on their way. Thanks. This is the worst day of my life. First he leaves me, now this. And what a trouble in paradise? Paradise. Yeah, right. Well, you're okay. That's what matters. Uh, are you? Are you okay? He's, He's gonna, gonna be, be upset. upset. But he but loves he me. me, he wouldn't be, be upset. upset. Maybe, Maybe he'll, he'll be happy. happy. Perhaps this, this is the sign we've been waiting for, for so, so we can move on with our lives, lives together. together. You're pregnant? I found out last week. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure the baby's okay. Where it is, yeah. 
you're okay, it's okay. Pray you're right. So I, I uh, guess you had a fight with the father? We fell in love, but it wasn't right. What do you mean? Love is a beautiful thing. He is married, been unhappy for years. We met at a party and it felt right. I know it was wrong, but something inside me felt right and happy. He promised to make it right and end things with her so we could be together. But when he found out I was pregnant, he lost it on me. You know, maybe this is a test that life is giving you. A test? What are you talking about? A test? What are you talking about? Sometimes. Sometimes life gives us test to reveal to us the true nature of the people around us. But we were... It was supposed to be good. Things were supposed to finally happen. I don't even think about going through life without him. Right now, just, just focus on what's good for you and, and your baby. That's what matters. Try and visualize two paths in front of you. Try to see where they lead, how they can help and hurt you. And most importantly, don't let fear or doubt influence your choices. Make your choices out of love. Real love. And love is what you'll get in return. Oh, right on time. Ambulance is here. I should get my purse. Thanks for talking to me and keeping me company. Hey, I didn't get your... All right, Jules. Open your eyes. <gasps> Whoa! Happy birthday, sweetie. <laughs> Wait. Okay, come on. Make a wish and blow out all the candles. Okay. All right. So what did you wish for? I thought I wasn't supposed to tell people my wishes or they wouldn't come true. Oh, please. It'll be our little secret. Well, I wished for a puppy. Uh, a puppy, huh? And who's going to take care of it? Me, Mommy. Mm-hmm. Just like you've been taking care of me. Oh. I'll always take care of my little angel. Fine. You stay there in that little hellhole of yours and see if it fixes anything. What you're forgetting is that you've given and given for your daughter and now your little angel's gone and you have a void to fill. You have to figure that out. 